Hello everybody, we are the, um, no we're not. No we're not. No. It's crush it, okay, yeah, we hear all? We're the Gravologists and welcome to part two of our trying Amer uh, not American, Australian snacks. This is going to be the sweet side of the video. Our previous one was the um, savoury, so if you didn't watch that, go watch that one first and then come on back here. We had some interesting tastes in that video. Yeah, we really Just did. say, go and see our perspective on Vegemite. <laughs> Today we'll be um, <laughs> dividing our chocolate spoils with this wonderful pizza cutter from Raven Forge. Ooh, look at that. That is swanky. Hey, look at that. Really cool. So yeah, it this would... is a pizza axe, isn't it? It is, it's pizza axe. Very, That's very really cool. good, that. We like that a lot. That's very, very cool. So, um, if you are new to our channel, this is Kevin and I am Tash. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get straight on into it. What do you yeah. wanna try first? Um, let's go for the Violet Crumble because oh, I, I, crumble. I know that one. Okay. Please excuse me, I'll just let my dog out. There it is. So if you are new to the channel then please do consider liking and subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you get notifications every time that we upload a new video. So Kevin's going to chop this up for us to try. Yes, with the new uh, accoutrement. Straight through the packet, eh? Yeah. Woo! Have it! <laughs> wow. Look at that. Ooh. What? No, I think I could break a bit off because it's easy. Right. <laughs> I didn't trust myself with the axe thing again, so <laughs> there you go, take that piece. Thank you. So, I've always been told that these are the Australian version of our crunchy. It does look like it. So My it mum says like it. it doesn't taste like it though, but we'll see. Well, the chocolate's going to be different for a start, isn't it? Yeah, she should say that, yeah, because okay. it's made of different ingredients. Right. It smells good though. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You can tell the difference in the chocolate. Yeah, yeah, you definitely can. By a lot. That's where the difference comes from. I feel like this tastes very much like Cinder Toffee. This. Yeah, is that what that is? Yeah. But the chocolate definitely does taste different. Yeah, it does. And it does alter the taste because it makes it a lot sweeter. Yeah. So, but it's not unpleasant at all. Um, I think probably because it's quite a big bar, it's probably twice the size of our crunch. Yeah, it is definitely. Um, I think probably one would do, yeah, if you manage to finish a whole one. But no, that's, that's pretty good. I'm happy to give that a good eight. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. I won't say it's as good as a crunchy. No, it's I not do as good prefer a crunchy. crunchy. Yeah, I love a crunchy. But um, yeah, an eight's good, yeah. Not cool. bad. That's not bad. Not well, bad. it's a much better start than the uh, savoury snacks. It is, they yeah. They're not good. So maybe Australians are like super good at the sweet stuff. Maybe. Maybe. I hope so. What do we have next? The next one is Dairy Milk Marble, mm -hmm. which has obviously some kind of hazelnut flavouring because there's yes. a hazelnut right there. So let's um, let's look at this. Are we going to get the axe on the job again? I think yes. we should. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Look at that. Show the camera. That's cute. Look at that. It's pretty it good. It's that. marble, isn't it? I'm liking Are that. Are you nervous? I'm probably going to fire this. Oh, oh look at this! This machine. Is, this machine is fantastic. Ooh. I know it looks like some kind of uh, Klingon battle wa uh, weapon, but it's super. It is in fact just a pizza axe. <laughs> <laughs> this looks right. good. It does look it good. Does this look looks good. good. So I'm excited to try and this. It's Cadbury, so it can't really be bad, can it? No, maybe their Cadbury's is different to ours. It's very soft. It is. Oh, very distinct hazelnut taste. Mm -hmm. You can't make up. I think it's got praline in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's got praline in the middle. Definitely feels, tastes like it does. Yeah. I don't dislike it, but it's incredibly sweet. Do you know what I think? Mm, yeah, but I really like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> praline center. Right, I can't read that. Oh. So you forget. Yeah, it does. Hazelnut praline center. I love that. Mm. That tastes like seashells. Yeah, it does. doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it really does. Mm. It's not horrible. I mean, I, I probably could eat some of that, a lot of that, but it's um, it's 
It's very sweet though, I've got to say. There's something about Cadbury's chocolate when it goes abroad. It seems to be an awful lot sweeter than it is here. Mm, I don't know why. I'd eat that. Good, because you're probably going to be. <laughs> this one, or do you want to try the red skin? Go on, I'll have a go you on, try the, I'll red have skin. Go on the red yeah. skin. So I'm not going to eat this because it's got gelatine in it, but Kevin's going to try it. I got him one so he could try. So I had these when I was a kid, um, and I know that my family really like them. So it is like a gooey sweet, like a chew bar. I can't even remember what they taste like. I haven't had one of those in about 16 years, so it's been a long time. Is it good? I don't even remember. I think I like them. It's actually very nice. I can't yeah. work out what the flavour is. Mm. I think it's just generic berry flavour. Right. Mm. Yeah. It's like, um. oh, what do they call them? A wham. A wham. It's like a wham. Whams are vegetarian and those are one of my favourite sweets. It's very much like a wham, yeah. Mm. That's what it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that at all. We didn't actually do a, a, a score on the dairy milk. Oh, what would you give it? I would give that a, it's got to be a seven and a half, eight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, happy with that. And I'll happily give that an eight. That's a very pleasant sweet to have. There you go. If there was a bag of those, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> That's why you do it. Nice. So now we're going to go on to the cherry ripe. So I'm reserved about this one just because my mum said it was awful. <laughs> so I'm a bit like, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm not being again, I'm right? not being funny though, but your mum's taste with those um, uh, shapes. shapes. Yeah. Well, the first day when we got them, because we ordered them to, at the same time, she ate a whole box of shapes on her own. No. An entire box, yeah. That's just... Oh, that looks a bit... Yeah. So, I'm, I'm thinking this looks a bit like... Um, Gross. <laughs> yeah. Coconut a bit like, blended with cherries. I think it looks a bit like rhubarb. So, I think it's a bit like a bounty, but with a... Coconut and cherry kind of oh, flavour. Smell it. Yeah, it's got coconut in it. Oh, I, I actually like the smell of that. Yeah. Yeah, I do, yeah. It does smell like a bounty. It does. It does. And my mum doesn't like bounties. Right. Ah. That's genius for me. That is a cherry bounty. I yeah. like that, it's good. I like that. Yeah, it's good. And what comes, I'm going to say for our older English viewers, mm. you might remember we had a bar called a cabana. That is a cabana. That's nice. It's very nice, I like that. I wasn't that. expecting to like no. that. I do like that. How are you yeah. doing? Yeah, that's a, that's a strong nine. Yeah, it's good. Uh, one of my favourite chocolate bars is a bounty, and they've just added a cherry to it. So yeah, that's, that's, a, that's good. a strong nine. Yep. Cherry right, strong nine. Yeah. I don't know what all the fuss was about with that one. It was good. Yeah, we were I think very happy with Australian that. chocolate is, is nice, right? <laughs> we, we used to have these in England. We did. Dream? I've yeah. never had one. Dream. We had, used to have these in England, and I don't know why they got rid of them, but they did. We don't have them here anymore. Let's bring out the axe again. Ooh. Chop, chop, chop chocolate. <laughs> there you go. Looks like white chocolate, doesn't it? Is it filled with anything? No, creamy white chocolate. Oh, it's just a white chocolate bar. So I'm expecting this to be like a um, milky bar. Yeah. And that's exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. That's proper milky bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's <laughs> delicious, yeah. That's a 10. Mm -hmm. I mean, I particularly like white chocolate. I do like milky bars a lot. That's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Milky Bar kid is strong and tough. Yes, and he is. Only the best is good enough. I don't know why they got rid of these in England. They're great. No, I, I didn't know. So I've never seen them before. But mm. yeah, I, I like that. I think they used to be in Heroes or something like that. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. That's a strong ten. They were. They were in. I think it was. I think it was Heroes, but it was in one of those selection boxes of chocolates. They used to have dreams. Right. Yeah. I like that, that's very mm -hmm. nice that. Yeah, what do you get? I'm giving it a 10. 10. So, a 10, yeah. That's really good, I like that a lot. I think we've got to say the Australian sweets are way better than their um, savouries. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that was really good. So, I think we've done the chocolate bars, so the what I've got left is the cream soda. Yeah. And the eucalyptus um, drops. <sighs> so, I think we should try the cream soda first. Absolutely. Because this is going to no. change our taste buds, isn't it? So... That might change my entire view of the world. You don't like eucalyptus? Well, have you ever smelled eucalyptus? Essential oil, yeah. 
If it tastes like the essential oil. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be that colour. I was just expecting it to be like a cream colour, cream soda. So we did get the um, Kirk's... What is it flavoured? Cream soda, whatever that is. So it's Kirk's Creaming Soda. So we got this one here. I've never tried a cream soda before. It says no artificial colours or flavours. And doesn't have the calorie intake on it. But um, yeah, so... It smells like Red Bull. Why is everything red? No, it doesn't. No, it does. No, it doesn't. It smells like uh, Iron Brew. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. That smells like Iron Brew. Not to me, that's um, <laughs> Red Bull. We're gonna, mm. yeah. Oh, yeah, love that. Mm, I like it. I don't dislike it, it reminds me of a sweet, I can't remember this what. This reminds me of being a kid. Mum used to buy Cherry Aid and she'd put vanilla ice cream in it. Oh, and it right, tastes yeah. like that to me. It tastes like cherry aid with vanilla ice cream in it. It's the exact taste. Yeah, yeah. Crusher. Crusher milkshake. I haven't had a crusher in years. It's crusher milkshake. You know, they said that advert with the cats on it. Yeah. Crusher. <laughs> That's, it's, it's crusher milkshake in pop form. It's crusher milkshake float. Okay, it's good. I'd buy that. I'd buy that. It's very refreshing. It is. It is very refreshing. And I didn't think I was going to like it. I don't know why. But I didn't think I was going to like it. I really like it. Yeah. It's good. It tastes better than our cream soda. Mm. Mm. Which our cream soda just tastes like. I don't like. think I've ever tried our cream soda. Our cream soda is basically vanilla flavoured soda water. You <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit wrong. That's pretty gross, man. So now we're trying the eucalyptus <laughs> sweets. Really not looking forward to these. Are these going to be the Vegemite of the sweet world? So I believe these are like lozenges. Right. And I thought with winter coming up, you know. My mum actually already had some of these in her house. Okay. She did, she already had some. So these are eucalyptus for me. Okay. Pure Australian taste. Aussie Drops. That's what the brand is called, Aussie Drops. Um, really eucalyptus, really handmade, really Aussie. Right. Yep. Okay. That's enthusiastic. <clears throat> so let's crack this open. I think there's uh, it protests too oh, much about being whoa. Australian. But the smell. Really? Oh. Can you smell that? Can you actually smell this? Jeez. Ooh. That's see, not, that, that's Vicks. Like right under the nose. You see, you if know. I was if I was a koala bear, I'd be off <laughs> my tits now, honestly. <laughs> that tastes, that smells like Vicks to me. You know Vicks? Yeah. Yeah. Vapor rub that you like put on you when you got a cold and you're sick. Oh. That's what it smells like. They're all stuck together, I just need one. They're all stuck together, you gotta eat lunch. I'm not in a bunch. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, go on then. It's actually not disgusting. I believe it's a lozenger. Maybe it's mm. sort Lockets. That's locket. That's what it tastes like, lockets. Well, they're alright then. I don't mind them at all. Mm. I'm going to love those in winter. Yeah, they're, they're alright. Mm. Yeah. Strong seven. Mm. I like them. I think yeah. they're good. They're nice. Can't go wrong with that. No. I'll definitely take those in winter if I've got a cold. Mmm. I'm blocked up nose, my view. Mmm. Oh, they are really good. Mmm. I'm happy with that. Yep. So, I think the sweet section of the Australian uh, goods is much, much stronger mm. than the savoury, in my opinion. Yeah. Which, of course, it's means definitely from, nothing. from this bunch. Yeah, I think mm. so too. The sweets are very nice. I feel like I'm talking with a lift now. I know. The sweets are very nice. The savoury. It's a bit lack lacklustre, is that the right word? A bit like, eh, Bland, well, it's alright. Basically. Mm. So I, I like shapes and twisties because I think my mum likes shapes and twisties, so I've always eaten them. When I first tried shapes, though, I wasn't really that arsed. Yeah. But the more you eat, the better they get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the rest is just a bit meh, really. Not really that bothered. But yeah, I really actually enjoyed some of these sweet things. Yeah, there's, there's definitely that. For me, the oh, yeah. cherry ripe. Yeah, that was really good. I'd buy that. I'd go to the shop and buy that. Yeah. That was really good. Um, the Violet Crumble again was not... It's all right. There was nothing wrong with it. Yeah. I mean, I personally, I prefer crunchy, mm -hmm. but that's because of the cabbage chocolate. Yeah, I agree. You know, agree. so the inside is just cinder toffee. Mm -hmm. So it's just purely what it's wrapped in. The Dream was good. The Dream, oh, really the dream was very good. I like that. Yeah, that yeah, was really good. Really nice soft white chocolate. Strong Marble. and all strong. Yeah. Yeah. 
really good. The marble, I mean, it was nice, but I'll be honest, I'm not a big praline fan. Mm. But it was, that's probably why I found it to be incredibly sweet. Yeah, I, but, I do like praline. But all in all, I think it's a very strong performance on the sweeties. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm really happy with those. What's and I really favorite? like the, so the soda the as well. What's really your good. favorite? Mm, maybe the Dream or the Cherry Ripe, but I think more the Dream. For me, Fine. personally. Fine, no, that's really good, that, because then I can say mine was the Dream, so yeah. we've got a good cross there. And mm -hmm. the uh, worst? To be fair, even I though... I can't it, really say a, a worst, really. I mean, if it came to it, if you put them in a line, mm -hmm. even though I gave them a strong seven, they're going to be the worst ones for me. I would say uh, the Violet Crumble for me. Right, okay. Because I really like these. Right, these, okay. like, I actually really, really like these. I really do. I think they're really nice. So what score are you giving them there? I give them a seven. I'd give them a good, a good nine, to be fair. Right. I'm looking for a lozenger. Yeah. Yeah, I really would, because I... I've still got it in my mouth, I think it's good. Fact, that's, that's great. Yeah, I, mean, I like uh, it. I mean, I think I'd only go for the Violet Crumble because nostalgia and because... If there wasn't a Crunchy available, I'd get one exactly, of those. But exactly, exactly I don't even buy Crunchies that often, to be fair. No, we should all buy Crunchies. Crunchies are fantastic. Mm. I'd never buy them. You should. I know, I just never really do. Uh, I think it's one of those sweets that unfortunately will be like a cabana. Cabana, mm. cabana bar will just drift away into nothingness because nobody buys them. People buy them. It's not me. Do they? Do young people buy them? Young person. Yeah, but I'm not every young person. No, no, you're not every young person, but you are the only cross section that we've got. True. <laughs> so, Liana eats crunchies. Liana is my sister. System. Yeah, we're about a year and a half apart. She eats crunchies. Does she buy them? Yeah. Oh, she fair buys, dues. Liana buys multi packs. Fair dues. <laughs> no. Maybe the crunchy can be saved. Maybe. But we've. Certainly from my uh, era, we've had so many fantastic bars that have just disappeared. Yeah, it's sad, um, isn't it? It, it really yeah. is, yeah. I mean, I don't know why they would discontinue them. Obviously, because nobody bought them, but I loved them. But there you go. Maybe I like rubbishy sweets. Maybe. Yeah. Well, that's going to be it for today's videos, guys. That was the trying Australian sweets video. Again, if you didn't watch part one, go watch that. That's the savoury stuff. But yeah, uh, if you did like it, please consider liking and subscribing to us and then you will get notifications every time we upload if you just tick that little bell icon. Yeah, and it's worth subscribing because we've got some really good... Oh, so uh, much. We have, yeah. we have. We've got some Indian sweets and biscuits to try we as well. Did, yeah, we did. We yeah. did, yeah. So we have quite a lot of stuff, yeah. So please like and subscribe if you want to watch those uh, videos that we have coming soon. And remember, we're the Grubologists. We're here to try things so that you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for watching Thank and we'll you. see you in the next one. See you. Bye. Bye.